Hello everyone, welcome to ACCA P6 UK Lectures brought to you by AccountInstitute.com Please open up your P6 lecture notes, we are still at capital gains tax uh, and we are going to finish capital gains tax in this short video lecture and open your P6 lecture notes on page number 48 please page number 48 entrepreneurs relief please come to page number 48 of P6 lecture notes FA17 and if you come to entrepreneurs relief first uh, entrepreneur relief please page number 48 <clears throat> now on entrepreneurs relief as I explained to you earlier as well that whenever I am running a business as a sole trader and I am intending to sell this uh, you know sell, sell this sell this business uh, sell this whole business to someone then entrepreneur relief will be available on this sale now when I sell this business as a going concern or I sell the assets of the business in both cases yeah, entrepreneur relief will be available subject to some conditions if I've uh, uh, if I have been running this business for a 12 month period and uh, some more conditions as well so let's uh, look at entrepreneur relief again because we are going to do a question relevant to this uh, this topic now entrepreneur relief is available on gains of the following disposal of whole or part of the uh, business owned for at least one year before disposal no the business is sold as a going concern the disposal of one or more business assets at the time when business ceases owned for at least one year before disposal and the asset sold within three years of the date of cessation so if I have seized my business then I'm selling the sh uh, selling the assets uh, within three years period of cessation then you know uh, entrepreneur relief uh, will be available in that case as well uh, assuming that uh, I have held this uh, held this shares held this business for one year disposal of shares in a personal company in a personal company is where you hold 5% uh, share, share shareholding and you are a director uh, as well or an officer in the company uh, uh, you know the uh, individual is an officer and um, or employee of the company the company must be a trading company share disposal of must have been owned for one year and then disposal of goodwill to a closed company by a related person uh, and what the related person means that holds 5% holding or uh, if hold more than 5% then will sell whole shareholding within 28 days to another company and in another company as well you must hold less than 5% shareholding all right right so that would be a related person please remember disposal of goodwill to a closed company by a related person if it is uh, by a related person if this condition applies only in that case uh, will the entrepreneur relief will be available so the related person means if he holds less than 5% shareholding now if he holds less than 5% shareholding then you know the disposal on the disposal of goodwill there will be entrepreneur relief however if he owns more than 5% if he sells uh, he, he will have to sell the whole shareholding to another company within 28 days and uh, in another company as well in which he is selling the shares you must own less than 5% shareholding. All right, only in that case, the entrepreneur relief will be available. I had a couple of questions from the students. I've received, uh, uh, I think, about uh, five or six emails uh, asking me the same question about entrepreneur's relief, uh, about this thing, especially about the goodwill, disposal of, uh, disposal of goodwill to a closed company by a related person. And I was asked that there was uh, contradictory statements in, um, I think, FTC books or Kaplan books or PVP, I think. So uh, it, is, it is not like that. Please read the uh, read the notes carefully. It says disposal of goodwill to a closed company by a related person, and I've defined the related person as well that he holds less than five percent shareholding, uh, and if he holds more than five percent shareholding, he will sell all of his shares within 28 days. Only in that case, uh, you know, the entrepreneur relief will be available. If it does not apply, then uh, entrepreneur relief will not be available. So we will do a question with regards to that. So just open up your BPP exam kit and come to question number 20, please. Question number 20, please. <coughs> right, so on question number 20, we're doing part B of this question. In part B, it says, uh, advice, uh, um, advice Adrian of capital gains tax liability that will arise on sale of business to a bat to battery limited All right so it is five mark question adrian uh, is uh, has has run his sole trade business for five years so he run his business for five years uh, it is more than one year isn't it so uh, has decided to incorporate his trading business by selling the shares to his uh, selling of uh, selling the shares of his business to a new company battery limited so he's selling the shares to a new company, Battery Limited. So incorporation relief might might be available if the proceeds are in cash and the shares. So there must be shares, 
Um, if there are no shares, then you know the incorporation relief will not be applied. In exchange for loan notes, so of course the incorporation relief will not be available. And after that, it says will be sole director and a shareholder of, of Battery Limited. Sole director, it means uh, I mean uh, sorry, sole director and sole shareholder. So sh sole shareholder, it means that he holds. 100% shareholding, all right? So he owns more than 5% shareholding. So it is 100% shareholding. So will be sole director. It is a personal company, and he, he, I mean, he owns a, a more than 5% as well because he owns 100%. And after that, it says he, ha he has no intention of selling his shares in Battery Limited in the near future. So he does not want to sell the shares in the near future. And after that, we'll sell two chargeable assets to Bat Battery Limited. So he's selling two chargeable assets to Battery Limited. What are these assets? Which are freehold shop, gain on sale is 50,000 pounds, and, uh, and goodwill gain on sale is 42,000 pounds. So gain on sale uh, for freehold shop is 50,000 pounds, and for goodwill is 42,000 pounds. So these are two chargeable assets, and chargeable gain is given as well. All right. Now we have to determine if the entrepreneur relief will be available or not. Now, whenever we are selling the shares of the business, uh, when we are, sorry, whenever we are selling the assets of the business, uh, then you know, entrepreneurial relief will be available if we have held them for one year. Uh, so in this case, entrepreneurial relief will be available uh, on assets. So which assets? On freehold shop, of course, the entrepreneurial relief will be available. But however, we are not sure about the goodwill. Right? So we have just studied the rule about the goodwill that uh, whenever, uh, whenever we are selling it, the uh, you know, there will be five percent shareholding. If it is less than five percent shareholding, uh, you know the goodwill will qualify for entrepreneurial relief. However, if it is more than five percent shareholding, then all the shareholding must be sold within twenty-eight days to another company in which he holds less than five percent. Now, in this case, he holds not less than five percent. He holds hundred percent because he's sole shareholder. So he holds uh, more than five percent, hundred percent shareholding. So, and another thing, the most important thing in this question is that he has no intention of selling the shares in the near future. So he's not intending to sell the shares within 28 days, so that condition will not be applied. So in that case, the goodwill is not a qualifying asset for entrepreneurial relief. All right. Now, if it would have said in the question that he is going to sell the shares, whole shares, whole 100% uh, share earning in next 28 days, uh, and in, in which company he is selling, in that company as well, he will have no shares at all. Now, in that case, entrepreneurial relief on goodwill would apply as well. All right. So please make sure you do this question uh, after finishing this lecture and reread your entrepreneurial relief portion of your P6 lecture notes. Do not confuse yourself. Do not look at the different things at the same time, because different textbooks use different language. They are all right, uh, but they use different language and they are very much in detail, which which confuses the student. So you are just building your concept. Do not, do not look at different books. You are not in a position to look at different books because there will be contradictory. Uh, you will find it contradictory statement. You will find uh, that you know these might be contradictory with each other. They are not. So uh, you are not in a position to judge the different uh, textbooks. Right. So just trust it and just go ahead with it. Otherwise, if you just look at uh, you know if you're reading the notes as well, looking for P6 textbook as well, looking for P6. Uh, yeah, you know the uh, textbook from the BBP, textbook from Kaplan, exam kit from BBP, exam kit from Kaplan, and then look for another as well, and look for Emile Wolf as well. I don't know. So there will be different exam kits and different books. So you can't do that in this period. So just stick to the notes, just watch the lectures, do the BBP exam kit. That's enough. So that is more than enough to secure you even 85 marks. So I had students in the in the past who secured, uh, you know, more than 80 marks. All right, so you just have to trust yourself, trust the notes, trust the lectures, and just go ahead. All right, so don't look for the different things at the same time. They're all right, uh, but you are not in a position to read from different sources because you will just confuse yourself, and uh, you know uh, it's, it's just a waste of your time. Right, so uh, entrepreneurial relief will be available on freehold shop, which is gain is fifty thousand pounds. And entrepreneurial relief will not be available on 42,000 pounds gap on goodwill. So we will uh, use annual exempt amount against goodwill first, assets not qualifying for entrepreneurial relief first. So 11,300 out of 42,000 pounds will be deducted and it will be taxed at the rate of 20%. Whereas gain qualifying for entrepreneurial relief, 50,000 pounds gain, which is a freehold shop, tax will be uh, applied at the rate of 40, uh, at the rate of 10%, which is entrepreneurial relief is available. All right? So the total amount of gain will be whatever. So please make sure you redo this part of the question, question number uh, 20 of the BPP exam kit. 
Right, so that's it for our capital gains tax. Whatever questions we have done, I know that we haven't done much questions in capital gains tax. The reason we can't do more than these questions, we, we, we can't do the other questions because most of the questions involve capital gains tax and inheritance at the same time. When we study inheritance tax, we will do a couple of more questions as well, which are relevant to capital gains tax. All right. For now, what is your homework? Your homework is to do this question and the question before that, and all the questions which I have indicated and which we have attempted in our capital gains tax section. I think there were four or five questions. So just do all of them questions which we have attempted during our these lectures. So redo them again until you are more, most uh, more. I mean until you are very much comfortable with them, very much comfortable with the concept because you are just in the building concept stage. You are not expert, you are just building your concepts. All right, uh, just read the notes carefully, just memorize them so you know the rules on the fingertips. Only then you will be able to apply this in your questions. I will see you in the next video lecture and we will start our next section of, uh, of our P6 exam. I will see you in the next video lecture then. Goodbye.